the best live band you're ever going to hear in your lives. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, um, not, not, where you, not where you're coming from, but um, just, just take it in your stride. We are the Cats going to the band. We, it is our pleasure and pride to do the first locked in mask song, whatever you like. I wish I was so easily amused, you know. So I hold my vegetables in the evening. <laughs> wish I'd not planted runner beans. You know. <laughs> well, they, they go on forever, don't they? Have you noticed this? Just when you think you can take the poles down, there are more flowers. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to leave them now. <laughs> the next tune, Hugo, is... Webster. Webster. Smashing's on this one. Uh, we, we nearly know it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Webster, which is a, a favourite. Um, oh, it is. It's, it's one of those songs, unfortunately, for the last two or three days, not to say weeks, I've not been able to get it out of my head. Um, getting it out of my head into my fingers is, is an entirely different matter, but I'm working on that. Next number, I'm going to identify the style of the band. Um, you may say, well, we can see sumptuous, you know, just, just about... Um... No, obviously you don't share that with me, but what can I say? Um, ladies and gentlemen, we, we style ourselves a little bit after the, um, the band of Django, Reinhardt, and the, the Hot Club of Paris, between the wars and after. Um, it is a very, um, oh, gypsy jazz, I think, is it? When, when I was starting on jazz, there, there was no jazz rubbish. You said that wouldn't happen. <laughs> now to the left. Right, we wouldn't have any insult. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry. But jazz Manouche. Jazz Manouche. The jazz of the flea. No, um, no it's the wrong word, isn't it? Sorry. Jazz of the hanky. Gypsy jazz. Um, this this um, terminology didn't exist when I was starting in jazz, and we, we just called it uh, probably continental or, or Parisian style, hot club style. Um, this is what we're going to play, and this is um, what I believe the French call um, a chief d'oeuvre of, of the style. Uh, it's called Swing 42.
Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Now, was that not um, uh, inconceivable? Well, no, it's sent to us. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, I didn't expect anybody to be listening, frankly, but uh, uh, supremely, um, possibly irremediably Gallic as the last as the last piece was. Uh, we now cross cross the Atlantic, um, and this this is where the the value for money with Cat Skellington comes in, because um, you can appreciate that as songwriters matured over the years, the chord sequences, melodies, what have you, if everybody said, oh, I can't do that, it's been used before, there would be about 12 songs and that would be the end of it. So, uh, bits and pieces borrowed. We have found one of those. There is a song called Coquette, whose chord sequence almost exactly matches another song called Cherry. So the, um, the band, uh, with me tacked on, are going to play Coquette, Coquette, Croquette, Croquet, no, um, and at some suitable moment we will switch um, without warning and play well, I will tip you the wings, Steve, actually, but uh, just, just in case. Um, and we will play Cherry. They both begin with C, don't they, So, Actually, so do piano lessons, have you noticed that? Yeah. When, when your teacher says that the, uh, the one by the lock is C, you know, that, that's what they mean, I think. Thank you. 
marvelous. Marvelous. Um, the next number I'm thinking of, and I, I'm giving, I'm saying marvelous at the composition. Um, we are fairly eclectic um, in our selection of material, um, or probably in plain English, unfussy. I would I have said one way or the other. Um, one of the numbers that was picked up by the was that a stifled yawn? I have hardly started speaking. <laughs> Let me go on for ten minutes or so, and that'll be the time for yawns. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, one of the numbers that was picked up by the. Um, I'll remember that actually. If I'm ever in a lecture or something, no, I, I'll say I, I, was, I was just eating a crisp. <laughs> I'll have to remember to have some crisps with me, of course. But where was I? Um, <laughs> I did all the time I talk, you don't have to play. You know, think of the humiliation I'm sparing you. <laughs> The, um, the Hot Club in Paris picked up other numbers from smashing melodies from, from classical music and the, um, the next number is, uh, is one from, from Norway, um, famous composition in its own right and this is a, a joke alert, <laughs> I can't remember the title and I expect it would be all Greek to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is not normally silence. People are just laughing silently. That's not quite the same thing.
that number, I'm sure you're, you're wondering about. It was, we, we intended it to be what we call in the trade a brick wall ending, which, um, you know, is a little bit like the, uh, the wall of death, or on the other hand, leaving the handbrake off, you just go, <laughs> um, On this occasion, one or two bricks spilt over, and I, I, I think a hubcap sort of ma ma made it over the line. All will be put to rights now with our first, our first, our first uh, Latin number of the evening. So for those of you, um, need I say more? The, the, the four of you will come especially for the Latins. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I am a, a little a little thrown standing up and knowing the number we're going to play next beforehand. <laughs> You're too keen to jump in there, Hugo. Uh, no hint to you at all. Darlings, we are time pressed. Uh, through no fault of our own, we gave you a... Oh, God. Is that all the time is? But we, we, we gave you a fairly generous first set. Um, so if we seem hurried at the end, it's because we're all going to be gone by 10 o'clock. Um, anticipating this, we shall play... My microphone doesn't pop. Shall, shall I... Try again if you like. Is it all my fault? <laughs> well, that's all the profit from about the next eight gigs gone. But <laughs> You know how to continue. <laughs> well, there'll be really real feeling in this, ladies and gentlemen, after you've gone. <sighs>
Nobody is old enough to remember um, workers' playtime. I mean, the, 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 the guide for any comic in this was if you mention the foreman's name as it, as it might be um, Joe Green. You see. And you remember the word Joe Green and hey! Thank you. 
the flower song that April sings. All these years passes. That's 
what I want it to be. As long as you agree.